All right, it is 5.30 a.m. We woke up at four. We went to bed at 1.30 because we waited until last minute to pack. We're on our way to Hannah's little pop-up shop with the Naka in Miami. So she's gonna be meeting you guys. I'm gonna be standing there weirdly in the corner, sponsored by Young LA, not really sure what to do, but I'm gonna be, you know, enjoying some good food, going on the yacht with the whole team. Sexual assault on an aircraft. Did you know sexual assault on an aircraft is a federal crime? It's like saying, hey, reminder, it is a federal crime to kill someone on an airplane. It's like, yeah, no shit, dude. It's a federal crime to do anything that's illegal on an airplane. How do you feel about the guy up front that, that checked us in? Guy up front was such a dickhead. Must have been 50, 60 years old. I go up to the desk, right? Because it's his job to help me out. And he starts giving me lip. Doesn't even, doesn't say hi. Doesn't ask me anything. He's just like, are you international? And we're like, no. He's like, go to the kiosk. It's like, why and, are you and, international? And I'm like, and I, I knew it's his job to check me in. So I'm like, do we do we have to go to a kiosk? Can you just check us in right here? And then he realized, like, you know, I was right. And he was like, oh, come on, just go to the, just go to the booth, it's not that hard. And I'm like, all right, dude, never mind, goodbye. And then he's like, oh, no, 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 never mind, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. And it's like, bro, just because you got your little badge on doesn't mean that you can just be a dick for no reason, all right? We don't want to be here either, it's five in the morning. thingies on it right there which I'm about to munch on Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so we landed safely obviously <laughs> I don't know why I said that if we didn't land safely I wouldn't be talking to you right now, but yes, we landed safely We just got to the room. I'm running on fumes right now. I I have gotten a total of three, three hours of sleep, two and a half hours last night, and then slept for like 30 minutes on the plane. But what's weird is that on this cut, like when I was bulking a couple months ago, I would just randomly nap. I napped basically every day, sometimes for multiple hours. And maybe it's just because of all the insulin that was pumping through my veins from all the food that I was eating, not so healthy, high quality food either. I think maybe that was getting me sluggish. I don't know exactly what it was, but for some reason on this cut, and I'm thinking maybe it's cause my body is like, you gotta stay awake, you gotta go hunt deer and fucking stay alive, right? That's what it's telling me. It's keeping me awake. So I have not taken one single nap this entire cut. Like I, when I wake up in the morning, I wake up naturally, I don't need an alarm or anything like that. I sleep eight hours just fine, but throughout the day, zero tiredness. So even though I'm only on three hours of sleep right now, I feel pretty good. Long story short, the situation with the hotel, I don't even want to get too into it because I'm annoyed about it, so I don't even want to talk about it, but check-in's not till four. For some reason, we got here at 10.30 a.m., so there's that, check-in's not till four. We went and got food at the food place at the hotel. And guys, I am not kidding you when I say that I have never had worst, ser worst service in my life. And it wasn't really the waitress's fault. She remembered most of our stuff. It was the guy cooking the food. I swear there was one person back there cooking all of our meals. And you have to remember, this is me, Hannah, and a bunch of guys on Anaka, Sholly was there, more people showed up. It was probably 10 people. And I, I really do think that there was one person cooking our food because I shit you not, we sat down to get food at 11.45 and we got our food at 12.56. We waited an hour and 10 minutes. We didn't get anything extravagant. We each got one entree. And yeah, like I said, eight to 10 people. An hour and 15 minutes almost. So at this point, I'm at a thousand calories for the day or something like that. And I'm hungry again because, you know, the amount of time that I was sitting there waiting for my food spiked my hunger up even more. So then when I finally got my food, it only brought me down to like a five out of 10 hunger level. So now I'm back up to like a seven out of 10. 
I don't know if I'm gonna try to sleep. I know I'm gonna have a shitty workout if I don't try to sleep, but at this point, I'm pretty much awake. I feel good, but I feel like I should probably try to nap just so I can squeeze a good leg workout in today. We got the pod uploading right now. I do not know how long this is gonna take because it's stuck at 1% uploading and it's not exactly fast upload speed because I'm on hotel Wi-Fi, so hope. Holy shit. Wait, I'm gonna do that reveal again just for you guys because I did not know it was that big. That kind of sounded sus. Mmm, look at that shit. That looks so good. So, I've only had, I think, around 1,300 calories today. This will definitely bring me up to 2,000. I'm on vacation, so I am gonna be sticking to a calorie deficit. It's just not gonna be as extreme as it has been for the past four weeks. All right, this is the most unhealthy thing I've had in a long time. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Mayo, the bacon, all the ham, perfect. fitness so I finished up that sandwich that I was having the club sandwich I approximated it to around 700 calories basically went into my fitness pal and added up all the ingredients so I've also today I bumped up my calories to 2400 I've been eating as you guys know around 2000 to 2100 a day and I've lost a lot of weight I've gotten pretty shredded but it's pretty hard to maintain and now that I'm in Miami and I kind of want to start putting weight back on but I still want to be lean for Mexico I'm keeping it around 2400 which should be a very slight deficit I could probably maintain my current leanness on 2500 so I'm gonna keep it right around 2400 unfortunately it is like 7 p.m. and I've already hit my calories for the day which is annoying but anyway I'm gonna get in this like workout let's go all right so as you guys know I have not been squatting because of some knee pain, and I haven't been doing Smith squats either. And I've noticed that the thickness, the wideness of my leg, especially out here, is just simply not the same when I don't squat. Normally, I like to stand with the stance about this wide for like maximum strength, but that hurts my knees. So I've discovered that doing close stance, like pretty damn close, is the only way I can squat. And for now, I'll take it because I just want to get under the bar and squat again. a girl that squats to depth. All right, so I am working up to a measly 275 for sets of eight. A lot of you guys watching are probably lifting more than that. You've been watching me for a while. You know that the heaviest I got to was like 405 for sets of seven. So to be doing 275 for sets of eight is a little bit depressing, but you know, I know that I'm just honestly happy to get under the bar and feeling that squat again. Nothing really puts tension on my glutes and my quads like squats do. I'm doing like a weird close stance, a low bar, and like really using a lot of like glute, like sticking my butt out. Cause I'm just, I just played around with the stance until I found what didn't hurt. And this is what doesn't hurt my knee at all. So just finished up three sets of eight with 275. Tweaked my trap, my mid trap a little bit on the last one, which is annoying, but it happens to me all the time. Now we're doing some Bulgarians. finished up Bulgarian split squats my simultaneously favorite and least favorite leg exercise ever because there's few exercises 
where I feel the stretch in my hamstrings and glutes. I just feel like they're growing as I'm doing the exercise as when I do Bulgarian split squats, but they also suck balls. Now we're moving on to some more isolation movements. I'm probably gonna superset leg extensions and hamstring curls, and then we gotta get out of here because we have a knock at dinner in five minutes ago. Fashionably late, and plus we know that if we show up right now, nobody's gonna be there. up the Miami trip. Thank you guys for watching. Actually just landed in Mexico. Realized I didn't do an outro yet again. And uh, anyway, got back from the pop-up. It was really great meeting all you guys. I walked in and literally, as soon as I walked in, I heard my name and I was like, all right, this is gonna be a fucking madhouse. And it was, but it was, it was really fun. And I got to arm wrestle, which I always love doing. And then the next day we went on a yacht. I got extremely inebriated. Um, but didn't make a fool out of myself, which is always a plus. Did I? Yeah. No. There you go. Girlfriend approval. Again, if you guys want to support me, um, you can use my discount codes, code JAM, J-A-M, for Gorilla Mind. Those are the supplements that I take, and I'm sponsored by the company. And then Young LA, those are the clothes that I wear. Um, so Gorilla Mind, Code Jam will save you 10%. Young LA, it'll save you 15%. Obviously there's Amino Asylum, but I can't really plug that on YouTube because they're iffy about that. So you can visit my Instagram and check out the link tree in that. Or if you don't wanna spend money, but you wanna support me, you can literally just watch my videos and uh, like them when you watch them and comment. So thank you guys for watching and Mexico vlog very soon.